Today, candidates for office in the May primary begin officially putting their names on the ballot. It happened at the state capitol. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more. Democrat Mac Jackson viewed his run for a seventh legislative term as worth celebrating. I was in there first. So did John Burns, the House Speaker. Records show he typically runs with no opposition. If you do your job, things work out. And that's what my members have been doing. And I think many of them will be... Uh, hopefully won't draw opponents. That could also apply to members of Congress like Republicans Rich McCormick, Barry Loudermilk, and Democrats Nikema Williams and Lucy McBath, incumbents who will be hard to beat. But winning an open seat is a different story. Republican Mike Dugan resigned from his state Senate seat to run for a seat in Congress southwest of Atlanta, vacated by an incumbent. It's a job interview. I'm asking the constituents of the 3rd District to hire me. And so it's, it's on us to go meet them. Are you the front runner? <laughs> yes. This will be an election year dominated by the likely presidential contest between Democrat Joe Biden and Republican Donald Trump in a state where their messaging may overpower down ballot races. Elections are hard. We're a true battleground state now. We're not blue, we're not red, we're periwinkle. So we've got work to do. But I feel very good that President Trump's going to lead a ticket that is going to do very well in the November election here in Georgia. Meantime, the crowd of qualifying candidates included many first-time hopefuls, like Cobb County Democrat Gabriel Sanchez, who aims to unseat a fellow Democrat in the state house. Oh, it's very daunting. It takes a lot. Um, I had to leave my position at the nonprofit I was working at in order to run, and so currently I'm working as a waiter uh, to make ends meet. But I think that th this is important, and that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so all of the people signing up today and the rest of this week will appear on Georgia's primary ballot in May, weeks after the presidential primary that's taking place next week.